Jan Kellers, welcome here at the Tech Talk studio. Um, you're an inventor, cryptographer, software engineer, and entrepreneur, and you're one of the co-founders of the PGP Corporation. Pretty good privacy, as we say. That's right. Uh, one of the co-founders of the Silent Circle, and above all, one of the co-founders of the Black Phone. That's right. Crypto phone where we can have secure phone calls. Uh, you're here at the NCSC conference. Uh, later on, you will be talking about security and usability in the age of surveillance. Yes. But let's start off with the Black Phone. All right. What is it? Well, the Black Phone is a mobile phone that we're creating. We're going to be shipping it at the end of this month, the end of June. We're mm -hmm. finishing it up right now. It is based on Android. Ultimately, it's an Android phone. Our idea behind it is that there's a lot of people who want to do privacy, they want to do security, mm. and they don't know where to start. Mm. So we decided that we would make a phone that comes out of the box, already configured and set up, so that it has good privacy and security with it. So it is not only enhanced in the OS and the OS setup, but it has a bunch of software that comes on it that is good for privacy and security, like our silent circle, encrypted phone calls and texts. It includes private cloud storage from SpiderOak and personal VPN, private browsing, private searching from Disconnect. And those are all together as in one package with an unlocked phone. So uh, let's say I'm a police investigator. What can and can I not see when you are using the black phone? OK. The black phone has on it disk encryption. And the disk encryption is the same disk encryption that comes with Android. We work very hard. We encourage you very strongly to encrypt your device. Mm -hmm. If you've encrypted your device, then the person who's the investigator would have to get your passcode to unlock the phone. Mm -hmm. If you didn't encrypt your device and didn't take our thing, well, they can, they can get anything they want off of it. Yes. You can't see anything of it. <laughs> uh, I, I assume that the police investigators aren't too happy with the work you're doing. Well, we're, you know, we're building this for everyday people who need privacy and security. Mm -hmm. And we don't organize our lives around police investigators. We don't, we don't check your ID at, at a restaurant. We don't mm. make sure that you aren't a terrorist before you buy a coffee. Mm. So we're designing the phone so that it increases the privacy and security of millions and billions of people who have things that they need to do and want to be private and secure. Yes. yes. Um, I got a couple of questions from the audience uh, before I started this interview. Uh, one was uh, from the director of Fox IT, who said that, well, uh, okay, you have crypto, but that's software. Uh, it may be, may, may not be, that in the chip itself, the hardware, uh, NSA might have installed a backdoor. How, how do you cope with allegations like that? I think that, that you have to look at things as a whole. I mean, the devices that we're making we are making them from standard factories. I mean, we have hired a factory in Southeast Asia, and they're making the black phones there. They're the same people who make lots of other phones. They, they do a lot of work with NVIDIA, who's our main partner on that. And they are getting the software from us. The software that we send to the factory is signed. All of the ROMs are signed. We know pretty much where they came from. I mean, you know, you can create movie plot things on how somebody could do something, but realistically, we have, a good, we have a good supply chain on there. We have our own people who work for us who oversee it as well. Okay. So you track the supply chain and where the chips come from too? Yes. Where, where do they come from? They're, 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 they're coming from NVIDIA, and they're coming from NVIDIA's factories, which are also Southeast Asia. Oh, Southeast Asia, okay. I, I uh, read that recently Silent Circle moved to Switzerland. Yes. Did that also have to do with NSA allegations? It had to do with the fact that the vast majority of our business is outside of North America. Originally, we formed on the island of Nevis in the Caribbean, and, <laughs> and our U.S. presence was a subsidiary of the real Nevis Corporation. Okay. That Three quarters of what we do is outside of North America. It's Europe, it's South America primarily, mostly Europe, South, South America after that, a certain amount in, in, in Asia as well, but mostly Europe and South America. We decided that yes, pretty much in, in, in from NSA things, Snowden and everything, that having an international presence and actually moving our headquarters to Switzerland was mm -hmm. a good idea. When we started Black Phone with Geek's Phone people, we decided where we wanted to do that, and we 
we headquartered in Switzerland. So having done that, we, we saw how easy it was to do, that it's a good place to work in Switzerland. We, were, we, were, we had a toss up between whether it was going to be in Netherlands or Switzerland. Oh, Netherlands, too bad. Netherlands, You're not here. Netherlands, <laughs> you know, we, we're going to have a big presence here uh-huh. for lots of other things. But yes, the headquarters is in Switzerland now. But it's set up as a network organization. You have locations yes, all we over. Have, we, have a, we have locations all over the world. And we have people hired all over the world, everywhere from Latvia and Greece to Seattle. Uh, I read somewhere that, that uh, maybe it's an old figure, but the Black Fund already uh, took 30 million US dollars onto uh, Circle. It was, it was Silent Circle that got 30 million dollars. We closed a round of funding with the Ross Perot family and a bunch of their, their people who funded Silent Circle for moving forward into doing more expansion, and that includes Black Phone, but we're also doing a huge partnership with KPN here in the Netherlands. They're a great partner of ours, and we're expanding European and South American, as I said, and and you'll see a lot of really good things coming out of that. That gives us the the money to do the things that we'd wanted to do. Before that, we were self-funded more or less out of our own pockets. Yeah, but perhaps the NSA revelations by Snowden gave a big boost on the Black Phone, didn't it? They have, they've, done, they've done really good for us. The Chinese have also <laughs> been very good to us, too. Yeah, because one of the other questions from the audience was that um, mainly it's too difficult to explain crypto to common people, so you don't have a business model selling mm-hmm. crypto to a broader audience. It's always specialized. Uh, well, with this momentum, you had quite success, but with other crypto uh, services you have, how do you explain to the common people that they need it? Well, that's, that's really the hard part with any security system. And it's, mm. it's not just crypto, it's also, uh, do you want an alarm on your house? Do you want mm. insurance? Do you want any of these other security things? People say, why do I need it? Now, for us, this has been one of the main things that we've looked at because we've spent a lot of time making things increasingly easy. We started off with Silent Circle with it looking just like the call and texting apps that you're used to. Mm. We're migrating them more to a more social aspect now because that's also what people are used to. Our primary advantage though is that it's very easy to use the call quality is, is fantastic. We do a lot of work making sure that the call quality is good, that the texting quality is good, and you get better call quality on Silent Circle than you do on your normal cell phone. So okay. that's one of the things that we do to make it easier. And really, ease of use is what people want. Yeah, and perhaps this also sounds cool, right? I read somewhere that they say, well, it would fit nice in a Batman suit. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, no. The whole idea is to make it easy. That's really the idea behind Black Phone as well, is that, that a way that I, I phrase it is that you could go out, you could take some cooking courses, you could buy some cookbooks, you could go make yourself a really good gourmet meal, mm. or you could go to a nice restaurant. Okay. And much of what we're doing is the sort of thing that you could do yourself if you had the time and inclination and learned how to do it. But most people don't want to be bothered to learn how to do it, they just want to get it. So that's why we are making our systems so that you just open it up and there it is, you have the security and privacy by default. Okay, so uh, you say usability is one of the factors to get it to a body audience, but how about the cool factor? Oh, I think cool factor is always good. Yeah. I mean, I mean, cool factor is always uh, always good. But people, you know, people will buy it and not use it unless it's usable. Okay. Any other cool stuff coming out of Silent Circle? Oh, you're going to see a bunch of cool things from us later on this year. Okay. For arranging this interview, uh, well, I'm terribly sorry. I didn't PGP sign my emails. I didn't use a black phone. Do, do you mind? I, 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 it's my job to make it so that you'll do things that way in the future. Yeah, but you did respond to it. Absolutely. Now, how did you cope with this yourself? I mean, it, it's impossible to do everything cryptic, uh, especially if you, if you communicate with people like me. Do you make a distinction between your inner circle where everything is cryptic and highly secure? In the outer circle, well, everything is open, or is it gradually? Well, it's got to be gradual, and, and what we've done is to make it so that you have, that's part of why we called it silent circle, was mm-hmm. that you have a circle of people and it's secure, but you can go inside the circle and you can go outside the circle, and that's, that's what we've been using that metaphor for. And we have services that we're going to be doing, particularly here in Europe and other places where you'll be able to make mm-hmm 
phone calls that are secure over the internet to a server that we run and then they're placed somewhere else so that huh. when you're traveling, when you're, say, in a hotel or a coffee shop, you can have a call that is secure getting out of the place that you are, which is the most likely place that they'd be hacking huh. you anyway, and then you could call anyone else. Or you can have them be part of the circle with that. Okay. Black Phone comes with four subscriptions to Silent Circle for you and up to three other people. Okay. Well, I understand the metaphor, and it also sounds kind of cool, Silent Circle, but it's also confusing. We already had Google Circles, and perhaps you also read Dave Eggers, The Circle, which is a bit of yeah, apocalyptic yeah, yeah. future of cyber terror. Uh, maybe, maybe, this maybe, maybe we should upgrade ourselves into a triangle. Okay, yeah, <laughs> Silent Triangle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sounds cool. <laughs> okay, let's do that next. Okay, um, well, your presentation is tomorrow. Yes, uh, you'll tomorrow. Be, you're following the conferences. Uh, this is your moment of fame to broadcast it to a broad audience. Anything else to say to the people at home? Oh, really, use things that are secure, get into privacy. You should be doing this. You need it. They're at, they are out to get you. Okay. Thank you very much. John Thank Callis. you. Thank you. A pleasure. Thank you for having me here.